technically, over the last few years, I have really involved myself in polymeter playing, playing of different kind of meters. In other words, different feelings. Different feelings. I'm. My, this is doing one feeling. This is doing another feeling. In other words, this may be doing a sad feeling. This may be doing like a happy feeling. Sometimes almost like a contradiction that you set up with inside. And it's not only twofold. What they're talking about the two parts of the brains. It's multifold. Because see, that simple type of sadness may produce like just subdivisions of that sadness that takes on all different kind of degrees of sadness. It may be sadness because somebody told you that there was death. It may be sadness because you broke your favorite dish. It was all sadness, but different types of sadness, but lumped up as just one big sadness. Thank you. 
as long as I'm living, as long as I'm alive, as long as I'm in this environment, there's certain things that not only myself, but everyone should do to be able to survive. I find that it's very important for me to understand the idea of martial art. Yara is a Yoruba word that means to be nimble or flexible. Actually, it's spontaneous, improvised, and it's reacting according to that particular situation. Yara is composed basically of West African dance movement, warrior movement, a lot of movements that influenced me over the years. And to me, it was only natural just to flow into this type of movement since it was part of my culture and lifestyle. When somebody is sparring with me and I see something coming at me, a fist or foot that's coming and I know it's going to break me up, I want that because I learned how to mobilize and learn how to adjust to that particular situation. You see, some people play tennis, some people deal with golf, bolding. I don't feel like I'm getting that kind of confrontation. That thing coming at me, that's a negative aspect. You see. But the positive aspect is when I survive. What has always been said that took place in America with slaves from Africa are being transported into North America, USA, was that we lost the language. And being more specific in terms of the music, that the reason, especially when it comes to drummers, that over here we play, or that is, musicians who are attempting to play like African drum instruments, mm -hmm. they say, well, you play the rhythm, but you don't have the language there. Right. You got the rhythm, but the tone is not there. It's about the tone, and they say, well, your tone is not there because your language is missing. Well, when you was playing your saxophone just now, you see what it was. I didn't, I didn't care if it was Yoruba, it was Hausa, it was Shante, it was God, whatever else. It was a certain kind of impression setting up because of your experience. You see, I don't care if it was, I don't care if it was a brother from Ghana, Nigeria, Mali, or Senegal, or, or whatever. There's certain kind of experiences that I felt that they went through, they are going through now, and they will continue to go through, and they have experienced the same thing you have experienced because of the culture and because of certain kind of conditions that's put on us. You see, and you have experienced that, but you don't have to tell me the word in that language. You see, it's part of you. It's become part of your lifestyle. So, I mean, the language is right there. I'm just saying when you were playing. And, I, and, I'll, I, and I'll tell you why. I know it was there. It's like you lied on your past and just go ahead and play. Exactly. Yeah, it's all in there. And what I was saying, we was functioning on the same level that the music always functioned on in the traditional manner. It was about our life experiences. Mm -hmm. It's about what is happening out here in life. It's stated today that a large percentage of black people have hypertension. Mm. And like the reason for black people having hypertension is not that clear yet. Mm. I mean, there's all kind of things that, well, it's a kidney problem, it's this, it's that, maybe it was pork, maybe it was uh, many things. But the thing that I haven't really heard talk about yet is something that black people constantly listen to and has been a part of us since we've been in this country mm. and has helped us in our survival, and that's music. I mean, black people are constantly listening to music. I used to take our music away, and I think it may be a big problem. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You know, that's the big thing with us. But they try to do it, though. Sure. A lot of times. But if you notice also uh, that there is a particular rhythmic structure that is very indigenous to black music, and usually heard on the bass, bass drum, and it's the... Uh, just picking up. It's very important in African music. I mean, it's throughout the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Now, getting back to cardiology again in the heart, something that's very interesting is that usually when you have a high pitch, very strong second beat to that particular pattern, 